Welcome to Center of Maths, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we're given a set C in RRN, and we're given that C is closed, and it's midpoint convex, so any A, B, and C. We have A, B, A plus B over 2 in C. The midpoint of any two points in C is also in C. And we want to prove that C is convex itself. So, so really the idea here, we have two points A, B, we have the midpoint is also in C, the midpoint of a and the midpoint is also in C, so we can we can keep taking midpoints of points, and by doing this, we're going to see that our set of uh, midpoints on this line going from A to B. So this line between A and B, we can write it as A X plus B one minus X A B and R N, and X uh, in the closed interval zero comma one, so. When x equals 0, we're at b. When x equals 1, we're at a. And as we go through 0, 1, we get all the points between this line. So this line we can represent by this. And so uh, we have that. We can see that as we take midpoints of midpoints, uh, this condition is equivalent to saying uh, any point where x is a dyadic rational, so the denominator is a power of 2, we have that. We're, we're going to have that from the midpoint. But once we have all the dyadic rationals, so, so x is the form a over 2 to the k, k is any positive integer, a is uh, also any integer and such that x is between 0 and 1. This, th this set of, uh, of numbers, so as we go through all the different integers that uh, we allow, is in fact dense in 0, 1. Because the set is closed, we'll have that, in fact, we just have x can be any number in 0, 1. And so that will lead us to prove that c is convex, because we have any uh, x in 0, 1 that satisfies this. So all we need to do is establish that we have all the dyadic rationals. So to show we have all the possible dyadic rationals, we're going to do this inductively. First note, uh, if we have x of x equals n over 2 to k for k less than or equal to, you know, some value z, uh, we want to prove, or yeah, less than or equal to some value k, we want to prove that we also have all the x for uh, k plus 1. So to do this, we're going to take the midpoint of two arbitrary points, say x and y, x of the form n over 2 to the k, y is of the form m over 2 to the k, where n and m are both between 0 and 2 to the k. And when we add we add them, and when we take the midpoint, do x plus y over 2, we get n plus m over 2 to the k plus 1. And so this is important because we just need to note that by taking appropriate n and m, we can have the top be any point between 0 and 2 to the k plus 1. And we have denominator of 2 to the k plus 1. So we have also all dx with a denominator of the form 2 to the k plus 1. And so by induction, we have all the possible dyadic rationals. And so as we know, uh, since the distance between, you know, if we take 2 to the k large enough, the distance between each rational gets as small as we want. So this set of rationals is in fact dense in uh, the interval 0, 1. And since c is closed, so yeah, since we have, since we've established, we in fact have a dense set uh, possible numbers for x, and c is closed, we must have all the possible numbers for x between 0 and 1, and this is exactly a convex set. So now we have all the numbers of the form ax plus b, 1 minus x, for x between 0 and 1, for any a, b, and c, and so this is what a convex set is. And also, uh, maybe a more intuitive way of looking at this, if we have two points a and b, and we're taking midpoints, and we want to show that we have an arbitrary point Say uh, C on the line, we can take the midpoint of, uh, yeah, first we take the midpoint of A and B, see if C is above, or above the midpoint, below the midpoint, if it's above, we take uh, the midpoint of this with the point above it, which is B, so we get another endpoint. Then we look, is C above or below that endpoint? If it's above, we take another endpoint. We take another uh, midpoint with the above point, and now we see it's below, so we take a midpoint with a one below point. 
And we just keep doing this, and you can see the integral seeds in is getting as small as we want. It's getting as close as we want to a midpoint. And since C is closed, we see we have a, a sequence of points whose limit will be C, a sequence of close sets who kind of close down C. So in fact, C will be in our set. And so once again, uh, the set will be convex. Thanks for watching. Please check out, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our blog if you found this interesting. Thank you.